Hello viewers, welcome to Ghani SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create tapered beam to tapered column connection 197 component in Tecla structures. Let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. To create views, click on view. Select new view. Click on along grid lines. Click on create, now views are created. Select elevation on grid 1, click on this arrow to open view, close these windows. Now we are going to create plated column and beam, click on application and component icon. Type here PEB. Select this component PEB tapered section S94. Pick the first position. Pick the second position. Right click on mouse, select interrupt to exit the command. Click on window, select view list. Select plan at elevation at zero. Click on this arrow to open the view, close window, now we are going to edit this column. So double click on it. Let's take column web depth 1 feet at top and bottom. Click on Modify to see the result. Click on Parts tab. Enter Web Thickness 3 16th inch. Enter Flange Thickness 1 4th inch. Enter Flange Width 7 inch. Click on Modify, Apply, OK. Now we are going to place column middle position at grid intersection point. So select the column, right click on mouse, select move. Select this option, pick the origin point at here. Pick the destination point at here. When you get this option, click on expand. Now click on window, select 3D view, now we are going to create the beam, so we need to open elevation along grid A. Click on window, select view list, select elevation on grid A. Click on this arrow to open the view, now we are going to create the rafter it here, so click on application and components, select this component PEB tapered section S94, pick the first position, pick the second position. Right click on mouse, select interrupt to exit the command, go to 3D view. To rotate the view, click on view, click on navigate, select rotate with mouse, pick the position, and then you can rotate the view with hold left mouse button. Now we are going to create the connection between rafter to column. Click on application and components, scroll it down, select tapered beam to tapered column 197 component. Select this option to activate. Select rafter flange, next pick column web to create the connection between column to beam. Now connection is created. To edit the connection, select this option, double click on this connection.
currently we have only one connection plate, but we needed two connection plates. So click on this parameters tab. Click on here and select this two plated connection option. Click on modify to see the result. Here connection plates are on equal length, so click on here and make it zero to change into equal lengths. To change the connection plate length from flange to edge of the connection plate, enter here 4 inch. Click on modify to see the result. To change the connection plate thickness and width, click on parts tab. Enter connection plate thickness 3 fourths inch, click on modify to see the result. Enter connection plate with. Similarly we need to enter second connection plate thickness and width also. To edit the bolts, click on Bolts tab. Select Bolt Size 3 fourths inch. Select Bolt Standard A325N, Enter Tolerance 1 16th inch. Enter Lengthwise Edge Distance 2 inch. Enter Lengthwise Number of Bolts 4, Enter Lengthwise Spacing Between Bolts. 4 inch, give space. 8 inch 1 half, give space. 4 inch. Click on modify to see the result. Similarly like that enter width wise edge distance 2 inch, enter number of bolts 2. Enter spacing between bolts 4 inch, click on modify to see the result. To edit these stiffener, click on Picture tab. Let's take stiffener length 1 feet. Click on Modify to see the result. To change this stiffener thickness and width, Click on Parts tab, enter Stiffener Thickness 1 4th inch. Enter Stiffener Width 3 inch 3 8 Click on Modify to see the result. Click on Apply. OK. Now we are going to create the same connection between inclined rafter to column. So select this column, right click on mouse, select copy, pick the origin position for copying, pick the destination point. Click on window, select elevation on grid A. Select this option to activate, click on Application and Components, scroll it up, select this component PEB Tapered Section S94. Pick the first position, pick the second position. Right click on Mouse, select Interrupt to exit the command. Click on Window, select 3D View. 
Now we are going to connection between rafter to column, click on application and component, select tapered beam to tapered column 197 component, select this option to activate. Select rafter flange, next pick column web to create the connection between column to beam, now connection is created. That's it about how to create tapered beam to tapered column connection 197 component in Tecla structures. If you have any doubts, please comment below. If like this tutorial, please like it and share it. For more Tecla structures related tutorials, go to my channel youtube.com slash SK. I will provide channel link in the description, go through it, and come here. Please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe you will get notification or updates when I upload a new tutorial. Thank you.